In this tutorial, full authority entity members will learn how to grant and revoke read-only access to limited authority entity members for conservation-related data within Farmers.gov. This action would be performed on the Manage NRCS Entity Members page, which can be accessed via the Profile Details page whilst in wrap mode. After I log into Farmers.gov using my eAuth login and password, I will be navigated to the Global Authentication homepage. From the homepage, I can select the carrot next to my profile name in the header to access the drop-down menu, then click on the View Profile Details link to navigate to the Profile Details page. On the Profile Details page, I can see that you have been granted Profile Access by section, and I can hover over a limited authority entity member profile to see a Manage NRCS Members link on the row next to the Suite Profile link. If I click the Manage NRCS Members link, it will navigate me to the Manage NRCS Entity Members page. I can also click on the carrots next to the limited authority entity member name to display member information. I can see the carrot on the left of the entity member name if I'm using the desktop screen and on the right if I'm using the tablet or mobile phone. I can click on the View All link to display a model of all entity members. On this model, I can see a Manage NRCS Members link underneath the header. If I click the Manage NRCS Members link, a model prompt will ask me to confirm that I would like to switch profile in order to manage NRCS Members access. Once confirmed, I will be navigated to the Manage NRCS Entity Members page. On the Manage NRCS Entity Members page, I can see a list of all members associated with my entity. I can search for a member's name via the search bar. I can also click the filter sort button to activate the filter sort panel. Here, I can sort the list of names from Z to A or back to the A to Z default, or even filter the list by the member's entitlement, NRCS record access, or farmers.gov user fields. You can find details about these fields and their meanings by hovering over or clicking the information icon to the right of their column headings. Still on the Manage NRCS Entity Members page, I can see the Manage NRCS Member Access button to the right of the search bar and above the information table if I use a desktop or tablet screen. If I use a mobile phone, the Manage NRCS Member Access button will display underneath the search bar above the limited authority entity member list. I can use this button to grant or revoke access for multiple members once the shopping cart is activated, and then click on the checkboxes displayed next to each limited authority entity member. As I select, I see the shopping cart update with the number of selections and the grant access or revoke access button displayed depending on the chosen limited authority entity members. It is important to note that the system will only allow you to select members with the same record access when granting or revoking access to multiple members. A message will appear if I try to perform this action and closing the model will take me back to the previous page where I can modify my selections. I can also grant or revoke access to an entity member individually by clicking on the carrot in a specific member's role on the list. In desktop view, the carrot will show to the left of the entity member's name and clicking will expand the role to reveal the member's details and a grant access or revoke access link on the right, depending on their current state of access. The carrot will show to the right of the entity member's role on tablet or mobile devices. Again, clicking will navigate to a full page with that member's details and a Grant Access or Revoke Access blue button. Clicking Grant Access or Revoke Access will open a pop-up to confirm my desired actions. Once a member has been granted access or had their access revoked, I will see a success message appear at the top of the screen to confirm their access status has correctly been changed. When a limited authority member with read-only access logs into Farmers.gov, they will see a banner at the top of the screen notifying them of limited access as they navigate through various conservation content within the portal. For more information 
on the other features available in famous.gov, such as switch profile, NRCS conservation, or farm records, please watch our other video tutorials.